Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Peace Live Paradox Rift deck video. And today, I'm going to be showing off potentially the best single prize deck from Paradox Rift. And that is going to be the brand new Cloth. This card is hilarious. It's got the attack Unhinged Scissors. And this is definitely an unhinged deck. Uh, it does 30 damage. And if this Pokemon is affected by a special condition, you can do 160 more damage. Which is, of course, 190 damage. All for a single energy. Because you can put a double turbo on your Cloth to do 170 damage. But we can immediately poison Cloth with Brute Bonnet with the ability Toxic Powder, where if there is an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule on your Brute Bonnet, you can make both active Pokemon poison. So you immediately get to poison your Cloth, which also lets you do more damage because your opponent is also poisoned, and you can attack for one energy. And Cloth is a fighting Pokemon, which of course can hit Maridon and Iron Hands for weakness. This deck is really fun to play, and I think it's actually a legit decent archetype. Now, of course, for you to the video, if you want to leave a like on the video, show your support on the Paradox Rift content, it would be greatly appreciated. Today's like goal is 450 likes. Y'all have been smashing all the support and likes and all that stuff on the Paradox Rift content so far. I've been enjoying playing all the new decks. There's a lot of new cards to play, and this format has been pretty decent so far. And of course, one of the cool decks right now is, of course, this Cloth single prize deck. Now, Cloth is a great attacker. It can attack on the first turn of the game. If you make your opponent go first, sometimes you can donk your opponent. Of course, hitting for weakness and into Mirai on Iron Hands and Arceus is nice, but we also get the backup support of Electrode, which has basically the same attack with Tantrum Blast for zero energy. You can do 100 damage for each special condition on Electrode. So, if you poison it with Brupanet, you can do 100 damage, or you can also play Spicy Curry. You can burn Electrode and poison it with Brute and Spicy Curry, allowing you to do 200 damage. Which, of course, being a Grass-type Pokemon, you can KO Roaring Moons and Charizard EXs for zero energy. And that's what makes Electrode so good in this deck as a backup attacker. And that is kind of the combo. I mean, you got two good Pokemon. One, you know, heavy-hitting, one prize Pokemon that hits decent weakness. And a two-prizer that can also hit decent weakness right now. What's not to like? We can even apply extra damage with Radiant Sneasler with its ability to put two more damage on Poison Pokemon in between turns. Basically allowing you to do 30 more damage with Poison in total. So... Poison takes 30. There's also a Grant, which lets fighting Pokemon do 30 more damage to your opponent's active. Sometimes Grant can be a great way to knock something out in the active spot. And, uh, yeah, this deck is a lot of fun to play. We're only playing four double turbos in the deck because, um, I mean, yeah, you don't really need any other energy. I mean, Electro doesn't require any energy whatsoever to attack. Before we do get the video show, too, this wants your Card Cabin TCG, of course. If you're looking to get any Paradox Rift codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Or maybe if you want to get some Paradox Rift Product too. Card Cabin does sell IRL product too. If you get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin, check them out, use code LDF. Also, make sure to go check out the Shovel Squad down below every Monday. I post a new video over to their channel, and you can check out my second channel down below for some extra content too. And you can check out the podcast channel, the Mental Might Podcast, that I co host with my friend Linty every Friday. We have an episode of our pod. I think we're going to have a guest on for this week's episode, episode number 16. So definitely get hyped for that. And yeah, this is the list. Again, very straightforward deck. You're just attacking with Cloth every turn. Being able to attack turn one is good. We are playing the Bibberl Engine to draw some extra cards. Um, we are playing some Energy Lottos in the deck. Energy Lotto is really, really cool in here. Since we're only playing the four double turbos and we don't have one, sometimes we can Energy Lotto. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Reveal an energy you find there and put it in your hand. Sometimes Energy Lotto can bail us out and get us a double turbo, especially when you can play Arvin. Arvin is really good in this deck. I kind of want to play more Arvin, in all honesty. It allows you to get a Pokemon and or Pokemon tool and an item card, which can get you the capsule for the Brute Bonnet and an item, which sometimes can get you, you know, a curry for the Electrode, or sometimes can also just get you Energy Lotto. Um, yeah, that's that's that. And we have a bunch of draw in the deck because we do want to draw cards. Town Store is really good because it does find you that Ancient Capsule when you need to find it the most, and you also get to use Forest Seal Stone with Electrode V, which can also bail you out, out of tricky situations. I think the one change I kind of want to make this deck is maybe try to play like a Pivot card. There were times where I wish I could just retreat into Electrode. It's hard to do when Cloth has a 3 retreat instead of a 2 retreat. So having like a switching card wouldn't be bad. Like I am playing 2 switch and 1 rope, but if you want to maybe play a Retreat Pivot, a Jet Energy or 2, those could all go a long way in here. Um, that's one of the difficult situations this deck finds itself. Because sometimes you don't want to bench Electrode early against Roaring Moon. Because they can just Gust knock it out and they win the prize trade. So you got to be a little cautious. So I wouldn't mind playing more switching cards in this deck. But uh, this deck's a lot of fun to play. Let's go show it off on live and see what Electrode and Cloth are really all about. All right, getting into this game. We are going to make my opponent go first. We are going to open up the Cloth. Might be able to get a turn one attack. Oh, they open with an Arceus V. Yo, this Arceus is so dead. We just need to get... An energy and a combo piece to pull off this knockout. Turn one. That'd be really good if we get this knockout. And they're playing an arc deck. All right. I mean, even if we whiff the KO, it's still fine because they're playing Arceus. So 
Might be chilling. Might be chilling. There's a Mew. Mew does have resistance to fighting, I think. Yep. Okay. All right, we'll see what my opponent does here. Fire energy. Might be against an Armor Rouge deck. All right. We do need to get this knockout. Hopefully, we can pull it off. All right, let me just check my energy real quick. Oh, we prized the double turbo, of course. Of course. All right. My likelihood is not super high anymore. Oh, bench Manaphy. They might be playing uh, Delphox V, so I might as well play Manaphy. All right, come on. Give me double turbo plus a way to knock him out. Let's get it. Turn one KO, baby. Let's go. Double turbo. Ancient booster energy capsule. Um, you know, bench Bidoof. And then we'll Toxic Powder. Yeah, let's get it. Turn one knockout, baby, with the cloth. Bye-bye, Arceus. Not today. Not today. All right. Another double turbo off the prizes would be good. Let's see if we got it. We don't. We did get a Curry and a Countercatcher. Actually, if we don't get Ionode, this hand actually is not ideal. We are going to lose both of our Gusting cards, which might be a relevant thing to lose. Especially because they're benching a lot of Arceus's. Like, these are easy knockouts. I actually don't really want to lose this hand, but we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll see. They could boss my Brute Net, knock it out, but I have the Spicy Curry in hand to respond. They have to kill the Cloth. If the Cloth does not get knocked out, um, I can just take another knockout. They have to kill Cloth, I think. So it's like they have to knock out the Cloth here. There's an Arceus V-Star. We could get Iono into Mush. Um, that's why I got another B-Doop, just in case. We have a lot of time to keep in this game, though. But again, I wouldn't mind getting Iono. Again, I don't really want to lose my boss. Kind of want to keep boss and counter catcher around. I don't really think I need the counter catcher to be honest, because we're like, as long as we can take a KO on these Arceuses, we're going to be very far ahead, but we'll see what happens. I do want the boss to be protected. We'll see if they play an Iona or not. Um, we'll see what they do. Let's see. Do they have the Iono? What are they doing? They could judge me, maybe. Double turbo and. Oh, they're going to counter catcher. They are going to knock on my Brupa net, and that is perfectly fine with me. Um, because now I can just knock him out. Actually, you know what? It's really good they didn't knock out my Manaphy. They actually got to kill my Manaphy there and Delphoxed. Huh. Oh, oh, they have the Iono. Okay. They actually did have the Iono. They had Iono Countercatcher knockout. We hit the Spicy Curry, though. We didn't get much else, though, off that Iono. That's not good. But yeah, had they killed my Manaphy, they actually could have went Delphox. Huh. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't just go after my Manaphy here. Interesting. All right, well... My Brupa Net getting killed kind of sucks, but we have the knockout thanks to the Spicy Curry, so. We're going to take another two-prize knockout. Cloth is insane, bro. It's busted. Now, we, Delphox is a little bit tankier, but we can one-shot it with Electrode. We need the Brupa Net plus the, uh, we need Brupa Net plus, um, what do you call it? Um, thing. Spicy Curry, which we're going to have to play to knock out my opponent. Um, I might as well play this. Need something soon. Do I bench the Electrode? It could get boss KO'd. I don't really want to walk into that. Let's kind of knock out the Arceus for now. I need some prizes here. We'll see if we get anything off the prizes that can help us. I know there is a double turbo in there. Then now would be a good time to get it. Nope. We got Town Store, which actually is good. If we don't get Ionode, we can Town Store for four Seal Stone. So that's good. Maybe we're still in the game after all. I do need to kill this Delphox. Ah, maybe I should have benched the Electrode, to be honest. But, like, if they boss Electrode here and knock it out, I'm kind of screwed. I don't think we ever bench Electrode. It was tempting, though. I could win with Electrode this turn. Well, they did bench a one-prizer. Maybe not. Hmm. Double Turbo. That's fine. They do have a boss. They actually are going to KO my Manaphy here. Okay, so they're immediately going to go after the Manaphy. That is fine with me. I think they still think we're at a two fire energy, right? No, only they can get rid of the double turbo. Okay. All right, as Delphox is kind of in the way. Hmm. All right, so I win the game if I draw a Brupa Net, because I can force Steel Stone for boss KO Arceus. All right, what do we draw? No, that's not it. I thought that was actually going to be the Brupa Net for a sec, but I was like, nope, that's Sneezer. Dang it. Yeah, if that was a Brupa Net, I would have won the game. Because I would have boss KO'd the Arceus. All right, that's fine. They got the Delphox. KO my Manaphy, so that is a liability. But we can just do this. And then Star Alchemy. 
I don't think I have a KO this turn. No. I'm just going to research. And we are losing some good cards, so maybe I don't want to research. I should have just got Ultra Ball. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should have maybe grabbed the Ultra Ball there. Mm, I didn't get the uh, special condition attack here, which is not good. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't get the I didn't get the attack with the special condition. All right, we'll do this. That fails too. Actually, maybe we might lose. Maybe, maybe. They can't win next turn though, so we do have time. Ah, oh, I didn't get there. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. We have this. Grab a net. Still the curry, so it's fine. All right. Can we hit the thing? Can we get the bat the capsule? We do. Okay. We don't have game. Okay. Oh my god. If I had spicy, if I had spicy curry there, I would have won. That sucks. Yeah. If I had the spicy curry there, I would have had game. That sucks. Uh, we'll just super rod. Get this. This. Mm. Just put cloth back. Yeah, I would have won the game if I hit the spicy curry because I could have done uh, 210 damage to the Delphox Electrode. Rip. This is why I wanted Sneasler in play because they would have been KO'd, but my bench I, my bench was too full. I needed to bench Electrode to play the game, and then I had to bench the Boopa Net, right? So I couldn't. If I had Sneasler, I could have KO'd them with the Sneasler. They do go Armor Rouge. They actually put a double turbo on the Delphox, which actually reduces their damage. I actually don't know if that was the correct idea. Because now if the Delphox attacks, they're only doing 100. They actually can't knock anything out on the bench unless they have a boss play on like a... Well, not even Electro gets killed by the Delphox now because of the double turbo. Yeah, I don't know why they put that on. If they have the Armor Rouge, they should have put that on Arceus. Well, they also have to retreat this turn because I'm, I'm just going to kill the Delphox. Um, but no, they're doing the Magical Fire. And all right, that's GG's then. Yeah, they don't actually take a double knockout. That's going to be game. We are just going to knock out Delphox here with Electrode since uh, we can poison it. All right, that's game. We win. My opponent stays in the active. I guess they could have went Arceus, but, and then I can just find double turbo. I mean, the game was, prob it was probably checkmate anyways, right? Yeah, it was probably like game over regardless. I just needed to find a double turbo to knock out Arceus. That was probably the best bet was to go into Arceus though, right? Um, but then I can probably just easily knock it out and return. Again, in this game, we open up with Electrode, which could be good, but if we're playing as Roaring Moon, opening up with Electrode is actually not good because I don't want to use a two-prizer. Um, we'll see what my opponent's playing, though. It's probably Roaring Moon. Uh, they are going first, so I, are, I am able to attack turn one at the very least. So we do have that going for us. If I can draw a Brute Banette, I could go for, like, a Cloth here. Yeah, I could try to go. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Playing it's Toad's Cruel. Whoa, never mind. Toad's Cruel. Hmm. Not sure about this matchup, actually. This could be a little bit trickier. We don't really hit for weakness on anything, right? We, we aren't, we're not having a grass or fighting weakness, but we are, we do have beat sticks. That could be good enough. And our hand is kind of mid. We're going to have to see if we can research into something good. Do I research or should I just Arvin? I think I'm just going to research. Yeah. All right, we're not really, I'm not really super threatened at the moment. I mean, I would prefer if they didn't like turn 2K Electrode, obviously, but uh, we'll see what happens. See if we can draw. Ooh, Bidoof, nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the research, I think. It's fine. Just grab Cloth. We just need Spicy Curry to knock out. I could have killed them with a Brute Net there, I guess, but that's fine. Because, yeah, we're, we're always hitting the double turbo off the Energy Lotto. We just need, like, Brupa Net Capsule or, like, Spicy Curry to knock him out. Okay, we got it. We got the Artisan. And then we can grab the Brute. We can slap the Capsule on. I have Town Store for next turn, which is good. I can get a Four Seal Stone. And then we'll take a knockout with Tantrum Blast. All right. Turn one KOs with this deck. Let's get it. All right. Prize number four. I feel it's going to be good. Energy Lotto. Not really needed right now. I have boss in hand. So if they bench a Cherim here, we can try to boss KO it, which I wouldn't mind doing. I don't really... So Toad's Cruel X is a little tricky because it's kind of tanky. We kind of just have to attack it a couple times. But when they have, like, the Cricket Tune in play, that's a nice two-prize knockout I can go after maybe with Cloth. So, yeah, we have a couple options. We'll see what they got. 
Krikatoon. That is not good. I do not want them to have extra HP. Yeah, okay. I think we're just going to try to boss kill the Cherubi here. Or the Cherim. Arvin? Okay, that's fine. That, I doubt they're going to be able to attack me this turn and knock me out. They can do a bit of damage. They have, like, Earthen Vessel and Force Seal Stone. They can do a little bit of damage here. They, I mean, I, we'll see. If they can draw, like, a million... I don't know. If they can draw, like, three cards maybe off Krikatoon, maybe it's possible. We'll see. Yeah, I guess they could maybe get there. They still need Toad's Cruel, Cherim... Ener they need a lot to knock me out. They need to get four energy on four Pokemon to kill me. Yeah, they, they need too many cards. I don't think they're going to hit this knockout. They need way too many cards to kill this Electrode. They can hit it pretty hard, but they do need a lot. And then we can switch into Cloth and start attacking with Cloth. I wouldn't mind killing the Krikatoon. Honestly, getting those that two prize advantage could be good. I think I need Sneasler to KO it. So I could Town Store for Four Seal Stone. And then I could Four Seal Stone for Sneasler, knock out Krikatoon EX. Or Krikatoon V. With Cloth. It's tempting. Actually, wait, no, I don't need to do that. No, 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 I lied. Okay, no, I have a knockout anyways. What am I saying? I forgot the poison damage from Boopin' Edge. Sorry enough. Okay, there's the Toad's Cruel. They have more energy. Okay. Evolution TM, that's fine. Actually, if they do the Evolution TM, then I can't knock out the... I can't kill the Krikatoon because it'll put the other Krikatoon in play. Hmm. We'll just boss kill Cherim, maybe? Wouldn't mind if... Okay, let's see. Okay, they're just going to call an rush. That's fine. They actually don't do the Evolution TM. So do I just take the knockout on the Krikatoon here? Call it a day. Feeling like that might just be the play. Hey, another Cloth? Don't mind if I do. Is there anything left to Artisan for that's useful? Maybe another Bidoof, I guess. Just have another one. We have Super Rod in hand. I'm not going to play just yet, though. Hmm. Yeah, we can knock out Krikatoon. I kind of like killing Charon, but I, I think we just kill the Krikatoon. That's fine. It was Toxic Powder. And then... And the Poison Damage KOs. We'll play this. Is Force Seal Stone even in the deck? I think it is. Yeah, it's in there. And we'll Force Seal Stone for Bibberol. Yeah, let's grab Bibberol with this. Just set up the Bibberol as now. Get into play while we still can. Yeah, seems fine. All right. Uh, Bibberol, help a brother out. Let's see what we got off the Beebs. Got Iono and Heavy Ball. Iono's pretty good. Got another Cloth. Prizes aren't too bad. And we'll just take a knockout. All right, Unhinged Scissors. Let's go. 170 plus the Poison from the Brute Bonnet. We'll knock out this Krikatoon. We take a nice little two-prize lead here on my opponent. All right, what do we got? Got Arvin Ultra Ball. So, I mean, we just have to attack every turn, and I think we'll be okay. We just attack the Toad Cruel every turn, and then we just have to take one prize knockout. Even with the other Krikatoon, I don't think it's going to matter too much, so hopefully we'll be okay. We'll see what they got here. They do have the Artisan. That can get them a uh, another Toad's Cool. Kaelin Charon would have been good, too, but yeah, I definitely think we just take the two prizes while they're on the board. Kaelin Charon would be nice, but... Cloth's already weak to grass, so, like, this Toad's Cruel's kind of wrecking us regardless. It doesn't really matter if I kill the, the Cherim or not. Because I don't really want to attack with Electrode unless I absolutely have to, right? See what they do off this Arvin. I do like Toad's Cruel, though, in this format. I think Toad's Cruel's actually kind of good right now, just because its ability literally blocks Roaring Moon from knocking it out. And, obviously, it also stops Sableye spread damage, so... Toad's Cruel's actually a pretty cool card. I actually think that it's kind of underrated right now. If somebody, like, can figure out, like, a pretty good Toad's Cruel list and, like, they can perfect it, I think it's actually good. Not to mention, there is the new Toad's Cruel that you can also play in the deck, which uh, prevents superior energy retrieval, which is really good when you're playing in Shen Pao and Goldengo. So, I actually think, unironically, Toad's Cruel EX is actually, like, low-key good right now. I think it's actually, like, kind of decent. If somebody can figure out a good list, I think it's actually pretty good. So, we'll see. We just send a bunch of one prizes at them, and we just gotta knock this out and take one more prize. All right, we'll bench Cloth, we'll... I don't really want to Iono them. I do want to get this energy, though. Nah, I think I have to play Iono. I want to find this energy. I don't really want to give them new cards. I don't want them to be like Boss Electrode, but... I gotta find something. Got the Spicy Curry. Okay, we'll play the Town Store. I just want to check my deck real quick. How many energy do I have? Two? Okay, we still have two in the deck. That's fine. 
kind of want to save that for Electrode, but got to play it now. There we go. Double turbo. Beautiful. And then we'll just Toxic Powder. Now we'll just hit for 180 damage. We're just going to chuck away this Toad's Cruel. I might have gave them a boss to KO my Electrode. I actually wouldn't mind if Electro gets KO'd. Actually, no, I don't want Electro to die, but we'll see. <laughs> they probably got a boss. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see, though. We can knock out this Toad's Cruel, and then we just have to knock out a one prizer to win the game. Or just KO another Toad's Cruel, so I think we'll be okay. I mean, maybe it might be tough. We'll see. There's Cricketoon. I don't think that makes a difference anymore, because this thing's got 310 HP. We can't really do 310 anyways. That's why I wanted to kill that Cricketoon V ahead of time. Alright, let's see what they do. They have a five-card hand here. Did they get a boss's order to KO my Electrode? They could KO the Brupa Net. Which I wouldn't really want them to do that, because, I mean, it's kind of our source of damage. If they kill Brupanet here, I have another Brupanet capsule. If they ever find a boss, they're always knocking out Electrode, though. I don't think they're ever knocking out Brupanet. Yeah, we just KO Toad's Cruel. They could go into another Toad's Cruel this turn. They could actually attack with Cricketoon. Now, if they attack with a one Prizer though, then I just need to KO this Toad's Cruel to win the game, though. So, I don't know if that would really be a good play, actually, if they did that. Because then I have to knock out Toad's Cruel to win. So, if they go into a one Prizer, that's fine. I just gotta find boss... There's a level ball. Probably going to get another Toad's Cool, maybe. I guess that's the other thing with Cherim. It has Earthen Vessel now, which is kind of a broken card for the deck. Cherim's always struggled to find energy. Or, like, well, it's never really had, like, good energy, like, finding cards, right? Okay, they are going to attack. Okay, I'm fine with this. We can knock out this Cricket Tune. And then we just have to KO the Toad's Cool to win the game. All right, they have a one-card hand. Do they have a supporter? They don't have a supporter. Ooh, okay, that's good. All right, we'll just knock out the Cricketune, and then we just have to KO the Toad's Cruel. Seems good to me. Got to find another thing. We are going to lose a Brupanet and a Capsule, but that's fine. Sneasler. I don't really need the Sneasler anymore. Not really necessary in this matchup. Let's grab Cloth. Nails Research. It doesn't really matter if I play that. I guess I could have... Okay, we got this. I, I was going to say I could have done the uh, Bib Roll there before, but I think it's fine. No, just Toxic Powder. Let's play the Town Star. I just want to search my deck real quick. Yeah, Boss is in there. Just going to find Boss now to win this game. They do actually have to attack with the... Actually, you know what? They kind of shot themselves in the foot. They're, they evolved the Toad's Cruel, but now they can't accelerate energy to it unless they have a Raihan. Because Cherim can't put energy on Toad's Cruel. So actually, I think we might just win this. Because if they go into this Toad's Cruel EX with the damage on it, we just knock it out. All right. Yeah, because they, they can't they can't put energy on Toad's Cruel with Cherim because it's a rule box Pokemon. Alright, you let's go. Alright, we'll just knock out the active then and win. I think we're gonna win then. We'll see what they do. They can attack with another Cricketoon, maybe, but yeah, they got nothing. And that's game. Alright, GG's. Alright, yo, cloth taking lives out here, bro. Let's go. I don't know. Being able to attack turn one, attacking for one energy, hitting for fighting wing is pretty good. Again, I like Toad's Cruel right now. I definitely wanna. I definitely want to try Toad's Cruel out for a YouTube video very soon. Because I think it actually has potential. It got some new tools. Its ability is really good right now. And there's a new Toad's Cruel that's really good too. All right, we're going to make my opponent go first. Just because we are playing a deck that can attack on the first turn of the game. So we might as well let them go first. And we open up an Electrode and a Spicy Curry. Uh, Yeah, this hand does allow us to... Actually, we can do 210 damage turn one. That's not bad. All right, they have a Mew. All right, doesn't look like we're going to get access to much... Um, I wonder if it'd be better to go into Cloth this turn. I might do that, actually. Yeah, it might be better to go into Cloth here. If they're playing Charizard, we need to use Electrode against Charizard, right? Hmm. Might be better to... Might be better to go Cloth. We can Rope, too. Ooh. Okay, this actually might be Roaring Moon EX, which is fine. Yeah, this might be Roaring Moon. I guess we're going to see if it's Roaring Moon or not. They have an Ultra Ball. It is indeed Roaring Moon EX, which is one of our better matchups. Our hand is not the greatest, per se. We could play... Uh, if they don't put another 2 prizer deck, or they don't put another 1 prizer in play, we could Rope here. They're playing Path in their deck? Really? That could be interesting. I don't think that really matters for us. That's an interesting card to see in Roaring Moon. We can Rope here if they don't put another 2 prizer down, and then we can take a potential knockout on... Uh, if, no, they put a one prizer. Dang it, I was like, if they don't put another one prizer in play, I get rope, and then they're forced to give me a two prize KO. I'm like Roaring Moon or Squawkabilly. That kind of sucks. 
Battle VIP. Yep, there it is. We'll see if we're able to do anything. Again, our hand is not the greatest. I really wish we had more stuff. It's not very good. Hmm. I don't really want to lose Electrode either. Could go into a one prizer for a turn. I wouldn't mind that actually. We want to make sure we can kill the Roin Moons with Electrode every time. That is the plan. Okay, now Arvin for Forest Seal Stone. And a Nest Ball. I might have to. I don't want, yeah, I don't want Electro to get KO'd. I think I'm going to have to try to rope it out of the active spot and just hope they don't gust it. I don't know if they're playing Cross Switchers or not. That's the only problem. They're playing Path, though. So I doubt they're playing Cross Switcher because they're not playing Pokestop, most likely. Beach Court. Ooh, that's actually really good for us. I don't hate that, actually. Beach Court's good. If we can draw a boss, I can literally just boss KO one of the Roin Moons. Oh, I can't because, like, Spicy Curry. Never mind, I can't. Uh, never mind, never mind. I'm only doing 100 or 200 damage, all right? We go into the more Peko. Okay, what do we draw? Okay, that's... Okay, okay. We can just go Cloth here. Um, That could be good. Okay, okay. We prized Forest. Rip. That's not good. Got Bidoof. Yeah, we're just going to try to go into the Cloth, I guess. And just hope that we can hit an energy. How many double turbos do we have? Are all four double turbos in there? They are not. Okay. I mean, we're going to go into the cloth anyways, but hopefully we don't whiff the double turbo. Never punish. Let's go. Huge. That's a huge hit. Let's retreat. Take a knockout. I'm going to hold the hand. I need to make sure I can do the barrel next turn. We do need to find a few combo pieces to one-shot the Roin Mood Electrode. See if we can get four seal off the prizes. We do get a nest ball. That's good. That can get me a brute bonnet. Okay, I need them to not kill Electro this turn though with Roin Moon. That would be pretty bad if they did that. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty bad if they KO my Roin Moon this turn or they kill Electro. We're in trouble. They have a three card hand. I don't think they're playing Cross Switcher either. If they're playing Cross Switcher. I mean, maybe they are. They do have Mew, which does make it easy to pull it off. That's not a Cross Switcher, so I doubt it. If they knock me out of Roy and Moon, we can hopefully just kill them Electro. We do need another Spicy Curry, but we just find another Arvin or something that's, like, easy. They're playing the Bibberol Engine, too. Look at that. Hmm. All right, we'll see what happens here. My opponent does have the Greninja here. Let's see what they got. If they can find a boss here, we could be in trouble, because I don't want them to kill Electrode. If we lose our Electrode, that could be pretty bad. Yeah, losing Electrode would not be good. So hopefully they don't have a boss. No shot they have a boss, right? Actually, no shot. No shot. Are you kidding me, bro? They had a boss? No way! Come on! No shot. Okay, that is pretty annoying. Um, Yeah, nice. Cool. Awesome. Bro had a boss in their hand. Oh, you love to see it. I mean, it's pretty annoying. We could try to... I don't know. That's, that's so frustrating they had a boss. Okay, what do we draw? Another cloth. All right, we'll take it. Hmm. No Ultra Ball. Yeah, I needed them to not have a boss there. That is so bad. All right, Bibberol, help me out. We got Spicy Curry, Artisan. Hmm. If I had an Electrode, I actually could have KO'd them. I mean, we're just going to have to attack with the cloth, I guess. Hmm. Kind of sucks I don't have um, Sneasler here. Would have been nice to have Sneasler. Yeah, no Sneasler kind of sucks. I didn't get any support off Ibrul. I'm going to play the artisan. They're going to discard it, but I might as well just get value out of this now to thin. Then we'll hit him for 170. Yeah, if only I had Sne yeah, Sneezer would have been so good here. Would have been nice to have the Sneezer for the extra damage. It's pretty awkward. That boss KO was not ideal, and we are kind of in trouble because they got that early boss on me, because of course they had a boss in their hand. So, yeah. I don't like this. I do not like where this is going. We actually might be in a bit of trouble here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This kind of sucks. We'll see what we can do. 
Yeah, it would have been good to have the Sneasler or like the Grant or something. I wanted to get more damage on the Roaring Moon. No such luck. How do we win this, to be honest, without... The price trade's so skewered right now, so it's kind of tough. Not sure, not sure. I will right, we'll see what my opponent does here. They have a six-card hand at the moment. Let's see if they are able to do anything else. That's going to Calamity Storm. All right, we could just KO the next Roy Moon here with our other Cloth. And then... What we'll the Electro the other one? They don't have a Bibberol. If I can Iono them, that'd be pretty good. Maybe, yeah, if we can go Iona, that could be nice. They have, what, 40 HP left? Okay, what do we draw? Another Cloth. Okay, then. All right, Bibberol. Let's see what we got. Got no Iono. Where are my draw supporters at? No Iono, no research. Nothing. All right, not good. Let's knock him out, I guess. I need an Electro. If I can go Electro knockout next turn, we might be okay. Maybe I shouldn't have put the... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put the double turbo on the cloth then. Okay, we got four seal stone. So that's good. I need electrode. If I can get electrode next turn, I can knock out this roaring moon. If I can go electrode plus an Iona, we might have a shot of winning the game. They do have Bibberol now though, which is making it a bit more difficult. Unfortunately, the poison damage makes this my opponent can just knock me out with Calamity Storm too, which kind of sucks. They don't even need a stadium. There's a nest ball. Do they have a Seda? They've only played one Seda. There's no way they don't have another Seda here. They could build up that Roy Moon. It's pretty bad. I need to... Yeah, I need to Iono them. I need to find Iono. If I can Iono knockout uh, with Electrode and they don't get another Roaring Moon attack off, I should win the game if all goes well. But I need to find Electrode. I haven't been able to find one yet. Speaking of Iono, they're going to Iono me. It's not good, actually. We do... Maybe I shouldn't have put the Double Turbo on the cloth, actually. I don't know. Got Countercatcher... I could, uh, I could counter catch or KO their Bibberol plus Iono. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, okay, I like that actually. We'll uh, we'll Iono counter catch or knock out the Bibberol, and then we might actually have a way to win. Okay, this actually isn't as bad as I thought. Maybe there is hope after all. Yeah, I actually think this might actually work too. We'll uh, counter catch or Iono KO Bibberol with Cloth, and then they're gonna go. Roaring Moon, and then we just have to knock him out with Electro to win. Okay, I actually, maybe we can do that instead of win the game. Okay, that actually might be our out to winning this. Speaking of Electro, we do draw it. I mean, do I dare bench it? Dude, if I bench the Electro, if I, if, if okay, if I own them into another boss, I, I think we have to do the risky play. So we're going to counter catch this. We're going to Toxic Powder. Not going to give them Town Store on the off chance they have, like, four Seal Stone or something. I have to match Electrode. Will Iono? Iono KO, I think, is pretty good. Another Bibberol. Nice. I just got to hope my opponent does not boss. If they get a boss off the two cards, I quit. Like, I'm, I'm done. I'm, my, my, career, my career is over, dude. I can't. I'm done. I quit this game if they get a boss off this Iono to three. Like, I actually just quit. Like, you know what? You got the better deck, bro. I don't think I need anything. Just gonna bib roll. It would have been nice to have a pivot, but alas, we don't. All right, we're just gonna hope they don't have a boss. If they get a boss, you know what? They have the better deck. They're better than me. This is my only way to win. I just gotta hope they don't have a boss. If they actually get a boss, I like literally, I can't. I can't with this game right now. Please don't have a boss. Okay, they promote Mew. That's good. We have boss in hand, but I don't. Can I knock out Squawk? Maybe. I don't think so. If we had Sneasler, I might have been able to. My bench is locked, though. Okay, Dark Patch. That's not a boss. Can I own them again, too, if they play, like, a Seda this turn? Yeah, that was a good play. Counter Catcher KO Bibberol was actually pretty good on my end. Uh, they got Greninja still. No shot. Right, get in this game. Uh, if we get an Ender... Oh, they... Ooh, we're going to turn Valiant. Can we do the double turbo? Uh, can they knock me out? I'm just going to hope they can't do 120. At least we started Brupa Net and not Bidoof. I think another basic, though. They might be able to get a turn one donk. We'll see. I mean, they do need to get 12 damage on. So, I mean, we'll see. 
If we can survive the turn, that'd be nice. Then I can attack. I mean, I can attack immediately next turn. Ooh, Jolteon. Okay, this is actually really fine. Jolteon is a one-shottable Pokemon. This Iron Valley Jolteon deck's actually doing well in online tournaments right now. It got top eight twice, I think, at the time of recording this. This is actually something that is seen play right now. Yeah, Jolteon is a nice, nice weakness. So we'll be okay if we can knock it KO'd. Jolteon is weak to Cloth, which is good. They're weak to Metal K. Okay. We'll see. No shot they can knock me out this turn, right? I mean, they, they can. They can put, like, what, 100 on me, I guess? We'll see. And go 20, 20, 20, 60. Yeah, I don't know. 120 HP is a lot, so we'll see if they can get this knockout. I mean, I'd prefer if they didn't, but we'll see. Just got to make sure we don't prize mana fee. If they go into Jolteon this turn, we can try to switch knockout the Jolteon, which also be really good. But I can with this hand, though, which kind of sucks. I don't know. Maybe we can't do it. Well, we get Electrode and Force Seal Stone. I don't know. If they go into Jolty on this turn, though, I can, like, immediately knock it. They don't know I'm playing Cloth. That's the nice thing about starting Boopinette is they actually don't know what I'm playing, potentially. So maybe they don't know I got the I got the Cloth in the deck, bro. I got the tech. got the technology. I oh no, That kind of sucks. Our hand was pretty good. So, I mean, that's not ideal. And this hand is not good either. But maybe if we have Force Seal Stone, we can actually make it work. Actually, this hand's not as bad. We have Force Seal Stone. Okay, what do they do? What do they do? Medicham. I don't think they can Yoga Lumi this turn, which is good. Hmm. Benji Bidoof could be a problem, though, just because it's easy to knock out. We have to be mindful of that. I gotta hope our Forest Seal Stone's not prized, because I'm gonna need it here to make sure I can get out of this. I wouldn't mind if my opponent ended the turn with a Thunder Spear, so I can knock out the Jolteon with Cloth. I actually can do that. I can knock out Jolteon with Cloth if they go into it. If they try to put 20 on me to set up for, like, a Yoga Loop. Wouldn't mind doing that. And they are gonna go into Jolteon. Yeah, Thunder Spear me. Yeah. Actually, they could have won the game if they hit the Swarm the Rune Donk. All right, that's scary. All right, we might be able to take a KO. Yep, that's yep, that that's pretty good. Yep. There it is, double turbo top deck. We can just go here, go here, go here. I'm just going to play this first. We need to make sure we don't prize. Okay, good. Oh, we didn't prize three Electrodes, right? Just making sure. We can research. Yeah. Nice try, Jolteon. I need to... Actually, I should have checked Mana Fuse in the deck. Yeah, we can't prize Mana Fee either. I, mean, I don't want to get Yoga Looped, though. Mana Fee's prized? Of course it is. I mean, that might not matter because we can one-shot Jolteon. That, that kind of sucks. Mana Fee being prized, not good. Um, I guess I'll grab a Bidoof. Let's take this knockout. Okay. I mean, if that would have been a VMAX. That would have been nice. We get to take the KO here, knock out their Jolteon, and we will take ourselves two prizes. Manaphy, please? No. Oh, God. Yeah, that could be pretty bad. Prizing Manaphy is not ideal in this matchup, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. Actually, not getting the capsule on the Boopa Net's pretty bad, too, because they can Yoga Loop at this turn. This actually might be pretty bad. They could have, like, an, they could do, like, a crazy Jolteon play where they take, like, two prizes. Three. They could take three prizes, maybe. Yeah, that's not good, actually. Not getting the capsule on the Brupanet actually could be really bad. We'll see what they can do. Maybe they just... I mean, they have a one card. What if that one card is unplayable and they can't do anything? We'll see. We'll see. What do they, what do they got? What do they got? One card in hand. What is it going to be? I'm going to go in four seal. It's probably going to be a research. Hopefully, b stays in play. I do want to get Bibberl in play at some point if I can. Yeah, prizing mana fee could be bad. Even though we get a hit for weakness, we did prize our mana fee, which is really bad. So that does not help our case. Hopefully Iona doesn't brick me. Okay, Bubberl. Okay, Bubberl. Bibberl double turbo is good. But if they knock out Bidoof this turn, we're screwed. I'm just going to hope they don't get a billion switching cards. Squawkability, that's no longer usable. Okay, they have an Ultra Ball. That's good. It means three cards in their hand. Hopefully aren't a bunch of switch outs. They got about Jolteon VMAX. Wait, what? No Jolteon V. Okay, there it is. Okay, that means two cards in their hand are probably not enough to keep them in the game. So that's good. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think we're getting... Uh, they can probably Yoga Loop the Brupa Net. No, dude. No shot, bro. Okay, sure. They drew the nuts. Nice. I mean, they didn't really draw the nuts, but they kind of drew the nuts. No, dude. I get the Booster Capsule. Yeah, this is bad. They can... I mean, they can't kill Bidoof, hopefully. So we'll see. They got to Yoga Loop me, though, which is not good. But they go into Jolteon VMAX this turn. I can just knock it out, maybe. It's bad they pulled that off. I really needed the uh, the capsule. That's a pretty big whip. But I had to do four Seal Stone because I was breaking. 
hopefully they don't have another supporter. We'll see. They might be able to kill both cloths so they can do tachyon bits before they do jolteon rope. Sure. Take the electrode. We need to be able to kill a cloth here. We knock out their jolteon. We're chilling. We got to knock out their jolteon. Let's see if they go. Put the they're probably going to put 20 on another cloth. If they have like a boss, dude, if they kill both, they have a one card hand. No shot is, no shot is boss. Actually, no shot. Yeah, if they have another rope, that'd be bad. How many ropes have they played? They've played three. Okay, no shot they have another rope. They have one rope left. Maybe not even. No shot, that's a rope. Heavy ball, okay, they have nothing in their hand. Okay, that's good. We might be okay. I need to move Electrode, though. Maybe I should have, no, I shouldn't have. I was like, maybe I should have went B-Doof. No, I need Bibbrel. They might not even attack me this turn. Which I would not mind if they didn't attack me. No, they're going for it. Wait, are they attacking me or are they... No, they are attacking. Okay, if I can find a switch and a poison combo, we can kill their Jolteon. So, we'll see. I might be able to kill this Jolteon this turn. Alright, Bibro. We need you to get me like an Arvin or something. Iono, I do not want to play that. Got Manaphy. We... Okay, we prize a double turbo and a bib roll. Good to know. Play this. Okay, let's bib roll. If I have to Iono, I have to Iono, but I'd rather not. Uh, man. Do I really have to Iono? I need a switch. I don't think I'm going to get... I actually don't think I Iono here. I think I just... I can't use Electrode. I don't know. It's actually really bad. But they have one card in hand. I'm not... I can't Iono them. I'm not going to get the Switch. I think I'm just going to... I think I'll just sacrifice Electrode, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to play Iono. I'm not giving them a new hand. That's not going to happen. They have one card in hand. I just got to hope they just Brick. If they... Whatever. I think this is fine. I don't want to Iono them. I'm not giving them four new cards. It's not happening. I mean, if I hit the Switch, it's good. But it's like, I don't think I'm going to get Switch. I needed, like, Arvin or something. This deck maybe should play more Arvin, to be honest. That was a perfect opportunity to do Arvin. We'll see what they got here. We got Manaphy down, which is good. So we're kind of protected. They can just go into Basculin, which is actually fine. Because then all we have to do is still kill the Jolteon to win now with a boss. But now we can Iono. Okay, I'm fine with this. This might be a little difficult. Because now they just need two prizes to win. <sighs> okay. Maybe we'll just get boss here. We can just kill the Jolteon right now. Spicy curry. It's not it. We get Countercatcher Arvin or something. We can go for the knockout on the Jolteon. So it is doable. I'm going to do this. Yeah, if we can knock out Jolteon here. That'd be nice. Yeah, booster caps my man if he does nothing. All right, the burl. All right, we got boss. Let's go. Kill the Jolteon. All right, cool. That's a big knockout. All right, we just need one more prize to win the game. Honestly, you know what? It might have been better to kill the Basculin. But I don't know what they're going to attack me with. So I don't know. I didn't thought Iono them either. So they have to get like a supporter off their prizes to stay in this game. Uh, we could still lose, honestly. I don't know. I maybe should have killed the Basculin and then bossed the Jolteon. Because I also could have still played Countercatcher. So I think it might have been a misplay to not KO the Jolteon. I think it was correct to just leave it alive, right? Yeah, I think I maybe should have just knocked out Basculin. Hmm. Yeah, that might have been a misplay, actually. We'll see. That might have been a misplay. They can yoga loop. Yeah, you know what? I think it was incorrect. I think I should just kill the Basculin. Because then I could have just gusted Jolteon for game. That, I think, was a misplay. Nah, I think that was a misplay. That might actually cost me the game. That might have been a throw, actually. That might have been a throw. 
They're drawing all the switching cards, apparently, too. That is not good either. No, my mean if he... Oh, God. I could still maybe... I can't watch on Iron Valiant. I need, like, Grant or something. I don't have Grant. Yeah, I might have thrown. I think I should have just kept Bastion and left Jolteon alive. I still would have had Countercatcher active and stuff. Yep, I think I threw. I think I threw. I, th I should have. I should not have killed the Jolteon there. I should not have killed Jolteon. I think that's going to cost me the game. It's going to cost me the game. I think I just Yolo Lumi next turn. Yeah, I think I just lose. Yeah, should not have done that. I need to go into Electro this turn. Like, wait, Medichain. Wait, what? Really? I guess they can do this and then Yoga Lumi the following turn. Hmm. This actually lets me potentially win with Electrode, though. Right? Yeah, I could maybe win with Electrode. Okay, what do we draw? Okay, I need Spicy Curry and Electrode to do this. Can I win with... Wait, can I win with Cloth, though? 160, 190... I need Grant to win with Cloth. I don't have Grant. I think we gotta go for the Electrode. Yeah, I think we just go for the Electrode here. It's my only win con. Alright, Iono. Yeah, I have to go Electrode. I should not have... I should have just left the Jolteon alive. I am regretting that now, big time. Because it might cost me the game. No way I got Electrode and Curry, right? No! We whiffed the Curry. Ah, if I hit Curry there, I would have won. Oh, it's like right there, bro. No! If only I had an Arvin or something. Hmm. Is there any way I can stay in this game? They have like a. F Ugh, they just have an energy. They can like smash uppercut. Ah, I don't know. I mean, just because they Yogalu doesn't mean they win on the spot. We can still maybe stay in the game. Still switch. We can retreat into Electrode. Is it going to matter if I play Toxic Powder and poison myself? It might... It's going to pass. No reason to attack. I could have... Uh, yeah, I could have attacked. I don't want to take... Too... Okay, I don't want to like take too much damage and then maybe get knocked out by this. I'm just going to play it safe. It's going to leave my Electro with no damage on. I don't know if that's correct or not, but... It doesn't really matter. I can't really gust many chain anyways. We can still win this game. We just have to hope they can't take a prize on the bench. Worst comes to worst, we give them Brute Banette if they play like a rope. Oh, they can Yoga Loop and go Jolteon, though. Yeah, I think we just lose, actually. Well, we'll see. They need a Jolteon VMAX and an Energy Badge combo to pull this off. They need a lot, actually. Okay, that's not good. They have a one-card hand. Don't, please don't be a supporter. They're going to Yoga Loop Manaphy. I need them to not get Jolteon off this turn. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, I shouldn't have killed that Jolteon, man. That was, yeah, it was a misplay for sure. I should have kept it alive. I would think I would have won the game if I just kept that Jolteon alive. Oh, they're not going to Yoga Loot me? Okay. That's fine. That's really interesting that they're not Yoga Looping. So all I need now, potentially, is like, unless they have no shot. Okay. Okay. We just need Curry and Sneasler to win. Okay, I need Curry and Sneasler. Guarantee the Curry. I can't get the Sneasler, though. All right, here we go. Here we go. We just need to hit Sneasler off of this Bibberol and we win the game. Yes, let's go. We won. That was close. Honestly, I did throw this game. I definitely... Definitely misplayed this game. I should have just left like Jolteon alive the whole time. That was definitely a misplay on my end. But I think we are able to do 220 damage here with Tantrum Blast. 
to KO this Iron Valiant and take the dub against my opponent's Iron Valiant Jolteon deck. Very close game. Very, very close game. Um, yeah, this matchup is definitely kind of scary. I mean, we have a lot of little Pokemon like Bidoof. Manaphy is really good, but it's a liability. Even Cloth kind of is a little weak, but we got there in the end. I definitely could have played that a little better, but we took the dub. And if this Iron Valiant Jolteon deck is going to be a thing now, I mean, taking the dub there definitely ain't bad at all for this little Cloth deck. And there you have it. That is Cloth in action. We definitely had some interesting matches there on the ladder, but this deck definitely has a lot of potential. I mean, being able to attack turn one with Cloth is pretty good. The Electrode is nice to have the extra type coverage. The only changes I think I need to make to this deck, I think this deck needs to play like a Retreat Pivot card. Um, because one thing I was running into is I didn't have a lot of ways to go into Electrode when I needed to, so this deck should maybe play, like, a Free Retreater. Um, I don't know what Free Retreater you can play, but a Free Retreater, more energy, another, like, Switch would be good. I also think maybe we should play just more Arvin. I like having the, you know, extra draw supporters, but another Arvin wouldn't be bad either. Uh, maybe even Cut Grant, I don't know. There are some things you could change about it, maybe play more tools, I don't know. But the deck actually feels really good, and Cloth is definitely a pretty cool attacker. And again, it is the best single prize attacker out of Paradox Rift, and uh, hitting for weakness against Maridon, Hands, and even Arceus, which we did play against an Arceus deck in today's video, is good. And then obviously the Electrode is good against Charizard, and really good against... Roaring Moon. But yeah, that'll be for me on my Cloth deck here with Brupanet and Spicy Curry. If y'all enjoyed today's video on Cloth, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the reaching 51,000 subs. We're getting really close to 51k, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Check out Car Cabin if you get any codes. Use code DF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shuffle Squad, the second channel, the podcast channel, all that beautiful stuff down below. And I will see you on another Paradox Rift video tomorrow. Bye-bye.